last week against Auburn. He was in too many obvious passing situations, not only the down and distance, but because they dug themselves a hole and had to fight back against Auburn. And Auburn sacked him six times. He's inside his own five in the shotgun. Now their first snap of the ball game. And now Scott comes up near the line. They're going to try to fake the handoff and go straight ahead. And that's something they had to do tonight. No, it's there, and then it can open up the outside run game. Itavius Mathers is in there. They fake it to him. Wallace comes up throwing and throws a strikeout to Laquan Treadwell, the freshman. First down, Ole Miss. Trailing by seven here early in the quarter. Throw, that one's incomplete. Too far in front of Itavius Mathers. And 109th in the country. Can't get much worse. Wallace trying to throw a quick slant. incomplete. Wallace has time, fires, and in the middle of the field, it's complete, but it's short of the first down. Shenanigans, we call Shenan it. Shenanigans. Yep. yep. Third down at two. Wallace fires, and it's caught, and it's right at the first down marker to Jordan Holder, and I think he's got it. They're crowding that short, conservative passing game from Bo Wallace. They haven't lofted one to Moncrief yet. They pump fake to the running back and come back the other way. And now they got a man on the run, and it's Vince Sanders. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Here at second down and seven. They fake to Walton and throw the slant. Complete nice throw, but not that big a gain. Wallace on first down. Nice throw and catch, and he got it to his tight end, and that might be, oh, he stepped out. I think the rushing yards are the biggest difference between those first three and the last two. They fake it to Scott, come up throwing again, complete. Wallace looking to the sideline. See, here's Tony Hurd right here. They've been blitzing him. Now they actually check with Bo Wallace and drop him back. And they throw to the outside. Nice catch. Third down at six. Trying to keep the drive alive. The Rebels. Ball over the middle. That one's broken up incomplete. Looking for a flag. Second down at six. That's Angram, the tight end in motion. And Wallace going to whip it out there. Complete. Treadwell and Treadwell the freshman has got a first down so first down just over six minutes to go Itavius Mathers in the backfield and now steps up and takes the handoff nope it's going to be Wallace faked it to Mathers and Wallace runs into Jenkins the guy that just got the penalty haven't had chance to snap one back there it's perfect though play fake Wallace Going to load and lay one out there long for Moncrief, and he's going to draw a flag. That's interference. Defense number 31. 15-yard yeah, penalty from the previous spot. First down. Last week had six catches for 122 yards and a couple of touchdowns. So first down by penalty again, and Wallace, nice run this time. The best of the night by the Ole Miss quarterback. Now Wallace back in there. And Walton clears out. They're going to throw it out to Walton in the flat. Trying to make the first man miss. Going to be run out of bounds around the 25. So a huge third down and seven from the 25 of Texas A&M. Wallace pumps. Signals for his receiver to get downfield. And now fires to the sideline. And it is caught. No, he's out of bounds. Jamez Logan. And Logan didn't argue this. Wallace gives him a chance. The ball's thrown high. Boy, it, it just missed Ooh. it. Just missed it. You think he got a toe tap there? Yeah, it's close. Another look. That's thrown a Air. little bit more inside. Mm. Lo and behold, two minutes to go. Ole Miss has a chance for more points. They throw it out complete. It'll be about a yard gain. As far as trying to work this clock down and at very least try to get in the field goal range. a &M wasn't even set defensively. And Ole Miss, that's tipped and almost intercepted. He almost threw it right to Stephen Jenkins. And the clock stops with a minute 31. He's got, he's got to be careful here at telegraphing some of these passes. You look at his eyes right there. It's a great look into the eyes of the quarterback, Bo Wallace, and Steve, Stephen Jenkins looking at the same thing that you and I are. Third down and eight. Trying to take advantage of stopping the Aggies on four downs. And they do. First down throw. Vince Sanders, who has the long touchdown catch tonight. Into that soft shell there of the defense. They brought a blitz and sat back and played in zone coverage, and they found the hole in the zone. Back at the 46-yard line. That's Ingram, the tight end in motion to a slot on the left. Wallace pump fakes. 
Deep sideline to Engram. Incomplete. We know we've got 63 seconds till halftime. Play action. Wallace. I just mentioned he hasn't been sacked. Now he has. Finally, they snap it with around 20 seconds to go. Flaring it out to Walton. Walton bumped out of bounds at the 43. It's going to be fourth down and about 12. We'll see if it happens anymore. Wallace fires complete. No, in and out of the hands of Moncrie. Bo Wallace, this is where it gets tested. He reads this perfectly. Steven Jenkins goes out with the tight end Ingram. It opens up a huge window. A perfectly thrown football, and Moncrief unable to hold on to it. And it brings up third down and nine. This is where Mark Snyder is going to get creative. Right now he's showing outside pressure. Backs out of it. Now a late blitz. And Wallace trying to get away from that. Now he's across the line of scrimmage. All he can do is pull it down, get what he can, and get out of bounds. Let's see if Ole Miss can get something going offensively. Play action for Wallace. Throws back across his body, but got it to his big tight end. It's my best everything back there. <laughs> right. Wallace, long throw to the sideline. Got it there, though. A three out of eight so far tonight. Here comes the blitz up the middle. Wallace will take off on his own. And he got it, I think. He did. E.B. Oha pulled him down. But Bo Wallace is 210 pounds on a six-foot frame, and he used it all right here. And a pretty gutsy effort here. AM came with the blitz with Stephen Jenkins right up the middle, and he recognized that he could possibly get to that first down marker. So I think the one thing Lewis would have liked to have done is maybe sat down in the end zone because he brought it out on the run back only the seven. And Wallace going long. Just overshot Moncrief. Good coverage back there, though, by Devontae Harris. Remember, that last drive, most of it was Brunetti. Now here's Wallace on a quarterback draw. Only got a couple. Mark Snyder has brought pressure. He's shown pressure and drops. It's a big opportunity for AM's defense to try to get after Bo Wallace. They'll have to get the ball out of his hands quickly. Four wideouts. They're bringing an extra man. Wallace down the middle, and he throws an interception. And it's Darian Claiborne, the freshman linebacker. They give it right back to the Aggies. Brett Claiborne has had a huge night tonight. He just reads the eyes of the quarterback, Bo Wallace, and he leads him right to the football. He's done, he did this a little earlier tonight. He's a true freshman. Look at, you can see him in the background just sliding over to the inside receiver. And the only reason he is, look at the eyes. He's locked in on, on the eyes of the quarterback who drew him right in to coverage and where he needed to be. Yeah, McCray is still out there off to the right as a tight end. And now Wallace trying to do the same thing Brunetti did. Only got about two, and he's run out of bounds over there where they're working on Brunetti. You see Brunetti trying to warm up that right shoulder. That's what he landed on over there. Now Wallace, play fake, and down the seam and almost got his tight end. Play clock at eight. Three wideouts to the left of Bo Wallace, but he wants to come back the other way. Now he does go left. And he overthrew everybody and was almost picked off. Whoa, free play. And he's going to take a shot for Moncrief. Incomplete. I, I still go for it because fourth and three is much more manageable for their style of offense. But how about the throw? You got a free play. Give your guy a chance, right? Yep. If they intercept it, it's five yards. Yes. Just give, give him a chance. Yep. Wallace across the middle, and he's got it down to the 11-yard line. And it cost him dearly. Bo Wallace keeps this one after faking it to Mathers, and he gets very little, if any, game. That bigger look when they bring him McCray as a tight end. Second down and nine for Wallace. He has to throw to Mathers to get rid of it. Mathers cutting back to the middle of the field. Now he's got blocking. Mathers first down and more. Mathers all the way to the nine-yard line. Here by Mathers not to just give up on the play and just, you know, he takes this ball, this ball, and you think he might go off to the right. Instead, he goes right back against the grain of the defense. Look at the effort and the block there by Jalen Walton to try to give him more room to work. He did step out with his right foot. Great job by the official on the sideline. She'd probably love to come down here and get a little, some loving down here. <laughs> A big shift by Ole Miss to empty the backfield for Bo Wallace. Bo's in trouble and got away from one man. Now throws on the run to the end zone. Touchdown. Laquan 
Treadwell. 31, he's off here to the left. His eyes get off of his, his, the man he's on. He's starting to watch the game. He's watching the quarterback. And look at the wide receiver back in the corner. You see him kind of be a little frustrated, a little clap of the hand, saying, oh, man, that, that's my bad. But that's the second time he, he's come off of a receiver and left a wide receiver all alone for an Ole Miss touchdown. And the freshman receiver from Illinois has his second touchdown catch of the night. 41-yard drive after the fumble recovery in just three plays. And Bo Wallace loads and fires to the corner. And now the Rebels are leading the number nine team in the country by a touchdown. Jeff Scott has played very little tonight, Herbie. Yeah, they've been going more with Mathers and Walton because of the, the more, more, a little bit more powerful runners. Treadwell has got a couple of touchdowns. The freshman's got a first down there out near the 40-yard line. But it seems like he gets better every single week. And again, they're getting the ball out of Bo Wallace's hands as quickly as they can with that soft coverage. I don't know that A&M was even set defensively as they go right back to Treadwell. They, the big thing with Tempo is just getting lined up, getting the call and getting lined up and ready to play. This time they are lined up. Here's Treadwell again in a wide-out screen. Got a block, and he might... Have gotten the first down. The tight end they used in motion to get him out there to be able to pick up a block against Jenkins. He's pushing him, and look at the strength that time. Second down, 11. Wallace rides the tailback and throws a streak down the sideline. And it's Walton, and he's gone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Brief is a guy off to the right that can occupy most of the defense's attention. Watch him take the corner, Harris, with him. And when he takes him to the inside, it opens this up to the outside. And you're asking a linebacker whose eyes are in the backfield or a safety to try to run with a running back who's going full speed. Everybody's out of position. Eyes are in the backfield looking at the quarterback. And you got a tailback sneaking out on a wheel route going right down the sideline. Another good throw this time by Bo Wallace. I think they take a field goal on the last play of the game. A little bit of confusion. They can't afford to take a timeout here with only one remaining. Wallace, play action. Throws high, almost picked off. From time to time in coverage, he's given up some touchdowns. He jumps on this route, almost comes up with an interception for AM. Play action, Wallace throws and should have been caught for Bo Wallace. They need 10 yards. He looks that way and now comes back the other way. Throws on the run and incomplete.